So let's look at some stats that are very important going into Wednesday's little bit of a campaign here. Go Wednesday! Go Wednesday! Go Wednesday! Hi guys and welcome to the video. If you could like, share and subscribe to the channel, much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces and subscribing lets me know you like the content. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live and if you want to support this Talking Wednesday podcast, please go do so. It's out every Tuesday at 5pm. It's on all podcast platforms of choice, so please go give it a listen. So, Sheffield Wednesday have racked up some interesting stats over the weekend, and it's getting really interesting to see. Now, these stats are taken from Joe Cran tweets. Uh, he put them out there at the weekend, and it's really interesting. So we'll look at the first stat. Sheffield Wednesday have 20 points after 10 games this season. This is the club's best start since they picked up 26 in back in 1990, 32 years ago. So that shows you how good we're doing at the moment with how we're picking up the points and how we're doing. Yes, it's not perfect in sometimes as how we're getting the win, but the wins are coming. That is a really good point total. This time last year, we were 12th place after 10 games. This time this year, we are in fourth. So it's a big improvement. And I think that got to be put on record. It is a big improvement and it shows that something is obviously working at the club. We'll go to that number two, which is interesting. At Carl Patterson got off the march Sheffield Wednesday this weekend. Uh, no team in League One have scored more than 20 or more uh, different goal scores, 10, than us this season. And this is credit to us last year. We did this really well last year as well. We were really good at getting goals from all over the place. We were very good at just putting the goals out there around everyone and just enjoying that free-flowing football. What I liked about this weekend was it was free-flowing. It was one-touch, little flicks, one-twos, getting it going. And it seemed like there was a team that was starting to really gel. Yeah, Wickham had a lot of injuries uh, going into this game, and that's going to happen. But I think the stats say the story. Now, you want another stat uh, here? Hang on a moment. It's that whole situation where we have to kind of... It, it, it's very hard to uh, look at Wednesday this weekend and then see negativity about a win. It was odd. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That was something that was a little bit odd to me. The negativity over a win. So we currently got uh, 10, 10 plus goal difference, which is fantastic. Let's be fair. Uh, that's going really well. After 10 matches, we're on 20 points. Uh, we had 20, to te 20 and 10 goals, uh, which is interesting to see how we are doing. This time last season around the same point, uh, it wasn't great. We were in 12th, and it really wasn't looking like a good uh, situation for us. And we have to now take this and build on it because we are we got something here that could really work. Now, our biggest issue, and it's been our biggest issue for a long time, and that issue is that we're not consistent enough. And that's where we have to be consistent this year if we're going to get anywhere. Uh, goals against 10, goal for 20. So it's good, but that goal against is causing a little bit of issue. It's six wins, it's two draws, it's two losses. Yeah, we would like to have no draw, uh, no losses, uh, but we're getting there. And if you actually look at also other stats like Windass and Barry Bannon being people who are... Uh, contributing to the actual assist column as well. And it's just that really good feeling at the minute. We need to push on and keep doing what we're doing. The stats are telling a good story. I got told by someone recently, well, more need to go, blah, 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 blah. And I, and I put the stats out to him and he's like, oh, it doesn't matter, still got to go. Granted, the goal on Saturday, uh, Rhys James got skinned and we just didn't really seem to be able to set ourselves. I think it's one of those things, Jack Hunt having his illness hasn't helped, but Reese James has really helped since they come in as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be interested to know what your takes are on the stats.